nutrition in animals all animals depend on other living organisms for their food they obtain various types of nutrients like carbohydrates fats proteins fiber vitamins and minerals from the food they eat these nutrients are useful to their body in different ways they provide the body with large amount of energy required to perform work they also help the animals to grow perform various bodily functions fight disease etc when we observe the different animals present in our surroundings we notice that different types of animals have different modes to ingest their food some animals directly swallow their food while some chew their food some animals are also found sucking scraping and gnawing their food come let us now observe some animals and find out the type of food they eat categorize their type based on the type of food they eat and also find out the method by which these animals ingest their food cow primarily feeds on grass seeds flowers fruits and leaves of plants therefore it is called a herbivore it ingests its food by chewing it frog eats insects like flies beetles and worms therefore it is a carnivore it ingests its food by flicking out its long tongue to catch the prey and then swallow the prey directly butterfly mostly feeds on nectar of flowers therefore it is a herbivore it has a long hollow tube in their mouth called proboscis which helps the butterfly to suck nectar from flowers thus from these observations we come to know that the mode of taking food inside the body differs in different animals the mode of taking food inside the body depends on the type of surroundings in which the animal lives the food available in those surroundings and also on the size of the food particles in spite of this complexity the basic steps of nutrition remain the same in all animals isn't this amazing there are five basic steps of nutrition ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection come let us learn about each step in brief Ingestion is the first step of nutrition. It is the act of taking the food inside the body. The food that is consumed does not mix with blood as it is. It needs to be converted into soluble forms which can easily mix in blood. This happens during the process of digestion. The digested food is then transferred to the blood by absorption and then during the process of assimilation the absorbed food is utilized by cells and tissues of the body for energy production growth and repair the waste products and undigested food is removed out of the body by the final step of nutrition that is ejection come after studying about the process of nutrition Let us do a detailed study of types of nutrition in animals. Types of nutrition in animals. All animals are classified as heterotrophic organisms. Different strategies are used by these organisms to obtain their food. The strategies widely depend on the body design of the animals and availability of food in their surroundings. The different strategies adopted by animals to obtain their food are holozoic nutrition, saprozoic nutrition, and parasitic nutrition. Come, let us study about each strategy in detail. Holozoic nutrition. In holozoic nutrition, Parts of plants or animals or whole organisms are taken in as food. 
the consumed food is then digested with the help of digestive enzymes and converted into simpler substances and absorbed by body cells of the animals the undigested food is then thrown out of the body of the animal by the process of ejection come let us understand this type of nutrition in more detail with the help of an example you might have seen unicellular organism like amoeba under the microscope have you ever wondered how does this animal carry out the entire process of nutrition within its unicellular body amoeba does not have organs like hands and mouth to take in the food it takes in its food through any part of the surface of its unicellular body it surrounds the food particle from all the sides to take it into the cell after that it digests the food with the help of different enzymes the undigested food is thrown out of the body by rupturing cell membranes and the amoeba moves further with the help of pseudopodia like amoeba all the steps of nutrition also occur within the unicellular body of organisms like euglena paramecium etc unlike unicellular organisms multicellular organisms have specifically designed mouth parts to ingest their food for example insects like cockroach and grasshopper which nibble have jaw like mouth parts butterflies suck food with a tube like proboscis mosquitoes and bed bugs use a needle like mouth part to pierce and a tube like mouth part to suck blood or other body fluids thus with the help of such mouth parts different animals are able to consume wide variety of food stuffs from their surroundings seven pictures are shown over here observe each picture carefully in the first picture we can see a boy eating food items like vegetables and meat in the second picture a parrot is eating a fruit a deer is seen feeding on the grass in the third picture in the fourth picture a fox is seen feeding on the flesh of other animal in the fifth picture we can see a lion eating a deer in the next picture we can see that a chameleon has preyed on an insect for its food in the last picture we can see a vulture feeding on the dead body of an animal thus after observing all these pictures we can say that different animals have different food habits according to the type of food consumed animals can be classified as herbivores carnivores omnivores scavengers and decomposers come let us learn about each type in brief herbivores animals that use plants directly as their food are herbivores grazing animals granivores or seed eaters and frugivores or fruit eaters are some examples of herbivores carnivores animals that depend on other animals for their food are carnivores these animals are indirectly dependent on plants for their food animals that feed on herbivores or predators animals that feed on insects or insectivores are some examples of carnivorous animals omnivores animals that obtain their food from both plants and animals are called omnivores example of omnivores are monkey chimpanzee human etc scavengers and decomposers some of the organisms around us perform the function of cleaning and conserving the environment by the very act of feeding themselves they are called scavengers and decomposers 
scavengers obtain their food from dead bodies of animals. Animals like vulture, crow and hyena are scavengers. Decomposers, on the other hand, obtain their food by decomposing the dead bodies of organisms or other materials. Microbes are decomposers. Come, after doing a detailed study of holozoic nutrition in animals, let us now proceed to study about another type of nutrition in animals called saprozoic nutrition. Saprozoic nutrition. Some insects, unicellular animals, etc. obtain the nutrients by absorbing the liquid organic materials from the dead bodies of other animals or from the environment. This is saprozoic nutrition. House flies, ants, spiders are examples of some animals that obtain their food by saprozoic nutrition. Come, let us now learn about one more type of nutrition in animals. Parasitic nutrition. Once when you are taking a stroll in the garden, just take a closer look at a sleeping street dog. What do you notice? Yes, small insects are seen living on its body surface. In the same way, if you observe the body surface of a buffalo, you will also see some insects living on the surface of its body too. You might have also heard from your elders about infections caused due to worms living inside the intestine. Do you exactly know who are these animals? Some animals depend upon other animals for food. They can obtain their food only from animals on whom they are dependent. This is called parasitic nutrition and the animals having parasitic nutritions are called parasites. Some animals live on the body surface of other animals and obtain the food by sucking their blood. This is called ectoparasitic nutrition and such animals are called ectoparasites. Insects like louse, tick and bedbug are some examples of ectoparasites. On the other hand, some animals live inside the body of other animals and obtain their food. This is called endoparasitic nutrition and such animals are called endoparasites. Tapeworms and roundworms are examples of endoparasites. Good to know. The anteater is found in Central and South America. The bobcat or udmanjar is an anteating animal found in India.